Introduction to Current Transformers, Part 2. In Part 1, we introduced the current transformers and gave an example where we would want to use a CT. In Part 2, we're going to talk about polarity marks. And then in Part 3, we're going to talk about current transformer ratio. So let's begin by drawing a delta connected transformer like such. This is line A, this is line B, and this is line C. And then on the secondary side, suppose we had a Y connected transformer that was grounded, okay? So on this Y connected side, so on the secondary side of our power transformer, we had CTs connected on each phase. Uh, let's suppose that there's a relay that we want this CT to connect to. And on this relay, we have inputs for IA, IB, and IC. And we have two contacts for each phase. Okay, so we've created our CTs on the secondary side of our power transformer, the Y connected side. We have our relay. Let's now talk about current flow. In a steady state system, let's assume that current flows from the source, which is on this left hand side. So here's our source and the load, and the, suppose that the load was on the right hand side and the current flows from the source to the load in our steady state system okay so the current so the current will flow in each line and then on the secondary side it will flow like this okay so let's zoom back in into our ct that's connected to phase a okay so suppose that the current in our steady state flows in this particular direction that's the key right now okay so now in terms of polarity marks we typically see in two places one would be on the line side and the other would be on the ct side now to interpret this we have to follow what's called a dot convention so in our dot convention in our dot convention, we have two rules, current in to the dot and current out of the dot. So the way to understand this is if current flows into the primary side of my of this transformer, primary side, so this is our primary current. If my primary current flows into the dot on the primary side, then the secondary current must flow out of the dot on the secondary side. So let's connect our CT in this particular way. Again, primary current flows into the dot on the primary side, then secondary current must flow out of the dot on the secondary side. Secondary current flows like this, it goes through this polarity mark here, and then comes out of this polarity mark, and then goes like that, and creates this circulating current. Now, because there's a dot on this side, then we would expect that this contact here on the relay is the polarity side of that contact. So these two sides should match up. So again, then primary current flows into the dot on the primary side, then secondary current must flow out of the dot on the secondary side. That's the rule of the dot convention. Okay, so suppose now we have the dot on this side of the transformer. How would we interpret that? Okay, so it's fairly simple. The way that we would do it is current that flows into the dot on the primary side must flow out of the dot on the secondary side. So the dot comes out like that. So let's say the current is going this way and it's going to flow out of the dot on the secondary side and then it's going to make that loop here going to go in this direction right so because we have the dot on this side now we should expect the polarity side to be like this so this is the polarity side of our relay this is the contact the polarity contact of our relay and that's how we, we should think about it okay so again current that's flowing into the dot on the primary side must flow out of the dot on the secondary side so now now the question is well you know what if we had current flowing in a different direction on our primary side very simple very simple you just need a very good explanation current that's flowing like this so when current is flowing in this direction we know the CT comes first and then we have the dot right so in this particular configuration the current is flowing out of the dot current flows out of the dot on the primary side which means current must flow into the dot on the secondary side so it'll make a circulating path like this current that flows out of the dot on the primary side 
means that current must flow into the dot on the secondary side. Now what if our dot on the secondary side was over here? How would we interpret that with the same current flow? Well first of all we would know that on our relay this contact would be the polarity side because it matches with our CT. So now current flows out of the dot on the primary side means current must flow into the dot on the secondary side. It'll make the connection like this. So in terms of the dot connection, there's really two rules that we need to memorize. What goes into the dot must flow out of the dot. On the If the current goes now as a teaser to other parts of this series, I'll show you how three current transformers are connected to a really a most typical example. So this is a very typical arrangement of the current transformers connected in Y. We'll talk about this particular type of arrangement in later module. In part two, we talked about current transformers and the polarity markings of current transformers. We talked about different arrangements of these polarity marks and how to interpret them. And then as a teaser, we drew the Y-connected three-phase current transformers. In part three, we'll talk about current transformer ratio and how to relate primary current with secondary current. This module was brought to you by GeneralPack.com making power system protection, automation, and controls intuitive.